about radio. Hi guys, I've got a decision to make about um, which motor to use. I've got this little uh, uh, screwdriver which is uh, a 2.4 volt unit but it's, it's a little bit fast um, or I've got this uh, this drill which I've shown you before um, which I've got control over with the mechanism there and um, I, this has got some advantages um, in, in compactness because it's very small I can cut this off here because this is the battery and this is the uh, the switch and I don't need that at that end because that would be connected to here so that's probably seven inches mm. yeah six or seven inches there um, and that keeps that short but with this uh, even if I get rid of the chock um, I've, I'm still going to have what well, it's, uh, it's getting on for 10 inches sticking out. Um, so I, I, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I'm tempted to use the speed control of the drill with uh, the screwdriver. The problem I've got there is that the screwdriver is a 2.4 volt uh, screwdriver, and I cannot imagine this. Um, a little either it's an inverter or a, a pulse width uh, um, modulator there um, I, I can't imagine the pulse width modulator working down at 2.4 volts so I'd, I'd probably have to give this a, a diet of uh, I don't know 12 volts uh, 18 volts something like that and then take the output and uh, put a, a series <laughs> resistor um, and that would be okay and that would give me the the compactness with this uh, but with the control of that and in fact the more I think about it the more I like that idea um, this is this has got the strength uh, it's got the torque that I want um, certainly when it's switched on at full voltage it's full two and a half but I, I just wish it was a, a, a slightly slower speed as it's uh, it's, it's got quite a, a, a quick take up and um, so I'm, I'm in a bit of a dilemma at the moment. To get the chuck off, there's a screw in here, which is uh, a left-hand thread. So you do it as if you were doing it up to take it out. screws <coughs> the normal way so anti-clockwise now I'm going to cut the handle off I've found some drain pipe that would go over there I'm going to cut that handle off that drain pipe will go over there and then uh, that will go there so the drain pipe will be long enough to cover it and then I'll work out some fixing and I'll use these uh, bolts around here to fix it. At least that's what I'm thinking, as you know, that could all change. Okay, so you can imagine with a longer tube, 
uh, that'll just give me some weather protection and also some means of mounting it. I'm just going to grind a flat onto the uh, thread because uh, I'm going to use a, a bit of uh, hose as my flexible coupling and uh, you can see how I get um, iron filings and everything there. Okay, I've got my uh, drill cut down now um, and I've connected the, the two shafts together with um, a flexible hose. I use my little gas torch to uh, uh, heat the hose and, um, and stretch it over the uh, much larger shaft. Um, it's a, it's a nylon uh, or rayon reinforced hose and a little bit of heat has just allowed me to uh, uh, get that uh, on there. I've got my flat ground onto the uh, drill uh, shaft so that uh, that's held uh, solidly there. And then uh, that's uh, a bit of the drain pipe that I've got and that will go over there. So I'm just figuring out now how I'm going to actually connect this end. Um, I'm quite happy to arrange to hold this with the plastic. It's probably about two millimeters, one and a half millimeters thick. But uh, there's not that much torque on here because remember this is a 40 to one gearbox. So um, whatever the force is there, I've only got one fortieth uh, of that torque here. Um, but it's a bit awkward because this has got a step on it um, and that step is uh, as such that uh, it's the right size for the ID of this tube but uh, there's not much room for the, uh, the heads there. I'll show you that in close up. This is that step uh, that I was talking to you about and uh, that's uh, the, uh, the tube and you can see the I really haven't got enough room there to get some uh, metal in there and the head of the bolt so if uh, if I was to try and make some sort of bracket that's a fit around there it's it's not very satisfactory so what I may do is uh, simply put in some brackets like that four little brackets and then uh, just drill and tap into the uh, into the case of the gearbox it, it might be a, a simpler um, solution what I've decided to do is put the little brackets inside so my uh, tube will fit uh, on the outside of those brackets like that what I've had to do is uh, give them a profile so I've uh, and that sort of formed it, I don't know if you can see that, round the end of that piece of metal there. Um, but to give you some idea, and if you design by computer, it, it, it's very difficult. You, you, you don't get this sort of hands-on feel for it. I looked at this to have a piece of uh, metal that would allow me some sort of bayonet fixing. Um, but the problem is the, the heads of the bolts and the thickness of the metal uh, get in the way if I try to do it on the outside. So I'd wind up having to have uh, something cut like that. I'd have to have that cut away as well. Uh, uh, that would have to be cut away um, simply to let that metal go through. You just think, oh, can I be bothered to go to all that trouble? Um, it'll be uh, a nice fixing, and it saves me drilling any other holes and that. Um, but that's just a little bit more work than I wanted. Obviously, that would have been long enough to have gone uh, all the way around there. So, uh, um, you know, I'm sure you can imagine the sort of thing. But anyway, that's that's where I'm going with these uh, these little brackets. I don't think I'm going to be cut, uh, cutting them to go there I might I might have it so that it's bayonet it. I'll get them fixed on and see what I feel like well by the way I've taken the bolts out and checked 
to make sure that these holes are blind because you'll see it's, that, that's an oil filler hole there so this thing will be full of oil and the last thing I want to do is slacken off these bolts and then have uh, oil weeping out as, as there was some sort of thread lock on there and that's what alerted me to that but um, they're all uh, they're all blind holes so that's that's okay so this is uh, one of the little feet that I've got there now so what I've done is uh, cut a little mouse hole there and then the bracket goes in there so that it uh, it sits flush so now I don't know whether to uh, slot those or to simply drill and tap I think I'll drill and tap it'll be easier believe it or not So that's my uh, tube that will be a protective cover but it will also serve as, uh, as a mounting. And what I'm going to do to stop the drill body uh, from turning is I'm going to cut a block of wood that will go in the, that space there. And then um, if you can imagine that this, uh, uh, this is that tube, um, I'll, I'll simply have a, a block of wood here and then I shall uh, drill through and screw through the plastic body uh, and that'll that'll stop any um, uh, torsion uh, there it um, doesn't need a, a great deal at all and what I've done I've put this on uh, what would be number seven um, sorry no, number eight on this uh, sort of uh, slipping clutch um, uh, mechanism and uh, that gives me at uh, the output of the 40 to 1 gearbox uh, something like 50 foot pounds um, which if if the antenna needs more than 50 foot pounds to turn it then I, I would like the motor to start slipping because there's, uh, there's got to be a problem Then I'll drill through and uh, bolt that into place. Again, I have to remind myself that I'm putting this in the About Radio series and it is definitely to do with radio because it is the uh, antenna rotator uh, so it's, it's a very important part of radio but it's uh, more of a mechanical exercise. Anyway, I've got the tube in place and you might sort of think well that's you know, not very strong or whatever but remember the electric drill was a handheld drill uh, so um, that would mean because I've got this tube holding the casing you, know, uh, you would have to shear the um, uh, the little screws off there with your bare hands um, so uh, I'm, I'm quite happy that that's uh, that's that's strong uh, Well, I've got to put uh, something in the end here, but I should probably just turn something down a bit of plastic uh, unless I find something that's a good fit. I shall seal this off. Um, anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.